Welcome back, everyone. In the last video, we saw that Adachi kind of got caught up because the police showed up. Okay, I thought there'd be something up there because the police showed up. So he's trying to buy us some time while we move forward to find out what we can learn. These are two strong Ready men. Die, punk? Some pretty able bodied bodyguards. You strike hard and fast. Okay. That almost did it. I guess he's gonna taunt me. Ichi, please attack this guy. No, Ichi. You gotta attack the other guy, because these are still pretty able, too able bodied thugs. Ooh. Okay, good. There, yeah, get that small fry out of there. We got it, Ichi. Love the music. Well, that's always been the highlight of the Yakuza games, has it not? Uh, a lot of items here. Meaning there might be a fight coming up. Let's make sure we're at good health. It works. Use Pretty up that good. one. Eh. I'll save the next heal item for when I actually take damage. Joe Sawashiro. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. That's a lie. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. Now we this. Let's do it! Joe Sawashiro, Omi Alliance Captain of the Arakawa family. Well, that stare down. Don't think I have anything. Yeah. You gonna cry? Come on no, I'm not gonna cry. You are. Dude, you whiffed. What was that? You did better that time. Saving it just for you. 
You can pull it off. Come on now. Check this out. Ooh. Careful with the blade, Saoshiro. You might hurt yourself. There you go. What was that a nip kick? We're still in the game, Sawashiro. I got this. This ought to end this war. The captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. No kidding. with the bottle I like it what was that dude you whiffed again you must be out of practice you always work too slow can you chill out let me eat ah uh, you're still whiffing I see don't know what that was. Oh, we still get another attack on him, so... I'm usually able to block that first one. Yep, see, I can always block the first one. Get him. You're done for, buddy. That's how you do it. Guess you just didn't have what it takes, Sawashiro. I've always been in prison for 18 years and he still mobbed you. Do you realize what you're doing? Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for eighteen years. That's long enough! Everyone's got their eyes on us. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. That certainly took a turn, did it not? The 
Town at Rock Bottom, Chapter 3. That tattoo is impressive, Kasuga. Sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Huh. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. Go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh, by the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey, oh man, I lost a bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those huh. are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. Jeez. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault, Nala, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that, and I'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas. So you better save me a big one. <laughs> a big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Ijin Cho. Ijin Cho? Ijin Cho. Isazaki Ijin Cho. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? Yokohama? Why am I in Yokohama? Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. When I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, it turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can, but as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. You're tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and it went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. And where there are cops, there are questions. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? 
Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage, that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry. Doesn't Jim. really have a home. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen. I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. That's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. You don't want that, we don't want that. Get out of here. Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. The wound is not fully healed. Your wound isn't healed all the way, and you haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well... Can't argue with you there. So, where do we start? Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, you gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um... Uh, sorry about that, Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N-A-N-B-A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, just remember, you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The Chief? He's been here a long time sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. Call it whatever you want. You need it. The chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar or a cheat, you're out. So if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off. Make some money. And prove you really want to be here. Got it? I get it. But you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some daylight left. All right. Here we go. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. Yeah. Oh, it sucks that his suit's all dirty now. This? 
This is what you do for money? Kinda lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found a 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh yeah, it's my lucky day. up just to have them crushed all right now it's your turn go check underneath the other vending machines trash cans too sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell i'm on it cool i'm gonna head back to camp come find me when you're done and don't wander far there are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town all right then good luck rookie Treasure hunt. You learn the treasure hunt ability by pressing square near, near certain points in town. You can obtain money and items. You can even get some rare items if you're lucky. So keep your nose to the ground and sniff out the treasure. Your money's been sent to the convenience store ATM and your items have been sent to the item box. Talking about the gold and silver safes. Hmm? <laughs> Found five yen. Hmm? <laughs> Fifty yen. I tried, but this was all I found. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it, does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. Thank you. I swear to you, I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently. Actually, I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's an interesting tactic. Must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Huh? Uh, sure. Oh. That's good. 
God. It's Ijin Show style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Oh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. Okay, I get it, I get it. I'll be there. What's up? Uh. Yes. Been a while since I rode one of these. Well, this is no ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel, too, so you won't fall over. If you haven't ridden in a while, why not take her out for a quick spin? You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okay. Okie doke, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. You'll find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. Ah, uh, here we go. Is that? Hmm. Gives you a boost. Hell yeah! Fuck me whole ass on this thing. We'll hope I don't crash and eat shit though. Oh look, more cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans too. Our homeless rivals, you're not the only one questing for cans. Should your rivals ram into you, you will lose your cans to them. However, you can also steal your rival cans by ramming into them during a boost. Yes, I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, you get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. Gotta bust your butt to earn your bread. Sheesh. Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider your reward gone if you're even a second late. 
I ain't one to waste time. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul. But what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Go big or go home. Let's give it a go. Time for a can quest. Oh, I missed it. Whatever. Oh. Who is leaving explosive barrels in the middle of the area? Pick that up. Not falling for your tricks, shyster. Time to get paid. If this guy's coming up. There we go. Music. That's money. Wait, who's this guy over here? Lots of turn before we get too greedy. That's the mark. A new record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already. Child of Cans. Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points then. Eco points? Yeah, what you get for turning in cans. Brilliant idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. That's quite a system you got there. Well, fiat currency is complicated. So you gotta factor in tax rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? People like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middle. Huh. Well, to be honest, I prefer regular money. Hey now. You collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, after taking out my lecture fee, here's what's left. All that for collecting 150 yen. It's about survival of the fittest. What a life. Oh, before I forget, you're better off swapping your eco points for commodities rather than money. It goes farther than we got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Kansan. I guess I'll see you later. 